to the blue. Ha 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 ha. Why? I will tickle. Hey guys, welcome to another exciting episode of my life. So as you guys may know, I've been slowly trying to put myself back out there. I mean, there has to be someone out there for me, right? Right? And then going back out there, realized, oh my god, I hate, I hate guys. I don't, I wish I was straight. It'd be nice to actually talk to someone, you know, for a minute, just have a nice conversation without them trying to stick things. In my tokus, I just want to sit out in a nice restaurant. We even make it classy, McDonald's. I'll even order off the dollar menu. The next thing you know, I'm trying to grab a fry and then it's a penis. I did not order this. This is not what I wanted. Send help. I'm finally in a safe and stable career. I'm finally expanding myself as a person. I finally grew into the person that I wanted to be. And I'm finally starting to be on the right path to really start to see me sharing the rest of my life with someone. I'm an adult. I don't know what happened, but I'm a man now. Oh, oh, oh my key. Well, fuck. And honestly, it's very, 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 very rare I actually find someone that I actually am really attracted to or someone I actually see myself being with. Like, I've dated some really nice guys, really caring guys, really sweet, compatible, sexy penises. Some of the sexiest penises you've seen. Like, they get them perm, they get them pressed, they get them polished. I'm just like, oh, this is delectable. Thank you. Is this, is this fresh? Is, oh, oh my. Homegrown. Homegrown penises. And I don't know, something about them I just really wasn't attracted to to see myself being with long term. My last relationship was the last time I really felt anything real for someone. So maybe it's just me. But I'm gonna let you guys know, let you guys be the judge, and let's get started. I mean, normally when I'm looking at a guy, either from across the room, swiping a lot, a lot of left. A lot, a lot, a lot of left. A nice, beautiful, gorgeous face, preferably with a beard. Ooh, I like me some beard. Ha, 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 ha. <sighs> and also teeth, because that's a make or break. If your smile is just, oh, oh baby girl, no, I gotta go. But the, one of the biggest things I look for is a guy with a nice fit build. I mean, they don't have to be big and muscular. I mean, personally, I do prefer guys who are like a little thick, no, stocky, because you know I like them thick bitches, yo, yo, yeah. <laughs> and I don't mind guys who are like a lean muscular, because like I'm more attracted to fitness itself. I'm not really that much of an ab guy, I don't really care for them. Personally, I focus on my core because I like it on me, but I don't expect you to have that. I mean, just go to a gym, I don't fucking care. But one thing a guy gotta have is a butt. I like me some booty. I do, I, I, I love, I love me some booty. Man butt, nice, ha, ha. I don't really get attracted to skinny guys. Just guys who are really skinny or really thin. I'm sorry. That, there's nothing wrong with you personally. If you are that, I, I just want to feed them. I'm just like, oh, baby girl. No, come sit on Papa's lap. We're going to feed you a sandwich. I get the motherly urge in me to just feed them like 24 7. Especially if they have no butt. How do you sit? I have to buy them a cushion. I can't date anyone I feel bad for. And another one of my biggest turn ons is I like guys who are on the same path as me. Like they want a serious monogamous relationship and they don't only want to have sex. Like, I'm not saying anything's wrong with sex. sex it's fun, if you want to have it, go have some consensual sex with one person, two person, a party of people, whatever you want. Girl, you go. You get that D. I'm proud of you. I want that one D. I want that one D for life. Like, as soon as I'm with that person, they are the person I'm the most attracted to. Like, they are the person I want. Like, I'm going to handcuff that D and love it for the rest of my life. When I got the right D, that's the only one for me. That's how it has to be. Oh! Oh, the bars! Oh shit. And I'm not saying there's anything wrong with like having a lot of sexy relationship, cause let me tell you, any relationship I'm in, it's all the time. Hey, hello sex. Oh, I haven't seen you in a while, sex. We got like an hour before our movie sex. After the movie, let's talk about the movie sex. We just went to McDonald's sex, we went to the diner sex, we're about to go to the diner sex. Just like, hey, my parents are asleep sex. Hey, my parents aren't here sex. <laughs> <laughs> it's almost been seven months. Someone kill me. <laughs> a moth flew out of my butthole the other day. I just don't, like, if I'm not emotionally connected to you, I can't have sex with you. When I'm having sex is to have it with someone I really care about, someone I really see myself with, because that just makes the sex so much better, and there's nothing to compare to that. Unless I'm seeing you, and I really see myself uh, having a future with you, I don't want to have sex with you. Oh, it's gonna be, it's gonna be a couple years before I have sex ever again. Oh my god. So the next time I have sex, I'm gonna be 40. I can't do a casual hookup. I am not a booty call. You want this? You get all of this. All of this for the rest of your life. I can't do the one night stand. I just, no. If you want to be in me, you better marry me. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> biggest turn-ons of all time is intelligence. I love having intellectual conversations. I love talking about things going on in the world. I love talking about things that actually matter. I love hearing different voices and different opinions, even if you don't necessarily agree with everything. My last relationship, they were very conservative. And I'm just like, how are you real? And yeah, a lot of things we had different opinions on. A lot of things we had different opinions on. Everything we had a different opinion on. And I was so interested in hearing more about his opinion and why he thinks that way. And then more sex. 
One of my biggest turn offs is not just the lack of intelligence, because look, if you choose to ignore something or choose not to learn something, you're choosing to be dumb. You gotta not. But I hate yes men. I hate when people just fucking agree. Just like, I could be over there, I could say the stupidest shit in the world, either as a joke or something, and they're just like, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, man, yeah, 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 I wanna get fucked. If you wanna get into my pants, you gotta get in here, you gotta get into my brain, you gotta get into my heart. Can't just agree with everything I'm saying. Like, I can understand if you actually have your own opinion that agrees with mine, sure, and we can talk more about that. But if you're just agreeing with me mindlessly because you got nothing else going on yourself, how are you a functioning person? Just, I can't. And also, like, conversations about common interests. Like, I love books, I love movies. If you can talk about those things with me, I'm just like, all right, let me just let me take off my chastity belt real fast. And one of my number one biggest turn-ons of all times, whoo, that just makes me touch my tetas just thinking about it right now, is humor. I love Funny people. I cannot be the funny one in a relationship. No. Have you seen my videos? Have you seen my subscriber count? I'm not funny. We all know this. I'm amusing. I'm arousing. <laughs> funny? <laughs> I have my moments. I cannot be the funny one in a relationship. Just like, it, I just can't do it. If you can make me laugh, just like constantly, and laugh all the time, we're on our way to a movie. We're in the middle of an argument. We're having sex. Especially if we're having sex, because that is hilarious. Because it is disgusting. It is gross. Air. There is body fluids all over the place. But like, if you can make me laugh during it, then I'm giving you that good boom boom for the rest of your life. Something about humor, it just gives me a boner in my heart and also my pants. If I go on a date with you and I'm just, I'm sitting, we're relaxing, we're talking, like, ha ha ha, oh, this is so fun, oh yes, this is a ravishing good time, I'm enjoying myself, like, ha 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 ha, ha, and I'm making myself laugh. I believe in second chances, I believe everyone should get, you know, a second chance at everything, but if you fuck up on a first date, that's it, you're done for me. I just, that's just how I am, just like, I can't, I'm a one and done kind of date. You fuck up once, that's it, I'm out. But if things work out and I agree on a second date, or I'm just, like, obsessing about you, I'm making Tumblr posts about you, I have you posted on my wall, checking your Snapchat every five minutes to see if you're alive and well and why haven't you responded to me? <laughs> Dating is fun. Then you know you did good. You did good because you got me hooked, you got me locked, and that's it. And the way to do it, humor. Had my number one turn on <laughs> is I love when a guy actually likes me. <laughs> that sounds so pathetic. But I like when a guy actually treats me like I'm not just another option, that treats me like I'm special, that actually shows that he cares about me. And the reason why he's with me is that he doesn't want to be with anybody else. And I'm not asking for grand gestures or our names written in hearts across the sky. Or even just he just lays down in the bed, our names spelled out together forever, traced out in dildos and lube. That's real romance. But if you're dating me, then you know ways to make me feel special. And there are ways to make me feel appreciated. It's so easy for someone to see you as another option or just another generic guy out there that can be easily replaced because you don't fucking care about him and he's just someone to fill in a void for just a temporary fix. You, If you can be in my life and show that you want to be in my life and nobody else can take your place in my life, that's the kind of person I want to spend my life with and that's the kind of person I want to spend my future with. Someone who feels the same way I do. I can say I love you and they don't really have to second guess it. They can just say I love you back. That's really what I want. <laughs> wow, that got, whoa, that just touched five nerves. All right, cool, I'm gonna turn this off, all right, bye. Anyway guys, they've come to blow. Aww. What are some of your biggest turn-ons and turn-offs of a guy, girl? I don't know who you date. I don't know if you date anybody. I'm not. Oh, don't trust the fart. I'm gonna have to change. And also, just for funsies, leave some comments down below on a list of YouTubers, internet personalities, or even those fucking Instagram models with the damn Photoshop that you think I should date. Well, I'll make a video about it. I'll even contact some of these people saying, hey, the internet thinks we should date. What up? I, Cause honestly at this point my life's a fucking joke. I don't really care what happens anymore. <laughs> oh, I made myself sad. I ever start laughing and then instantly start crying. I'll see you guys later. Stay awesome. <laughs> Why? Bye.